Okay, just unboxed everything. Very nice. Wow. We decided to get crazy. Oh my god. Look at this puffer. Okay, so. <laughs> Dude, you deserve this. <laughs> they literally warned you. <laughs> Hugo and I are making banana pudding from scratch. He has a late Friendsgiving planned with some co-workers tonight. It may or may not be canceled, but we started this banana pudding last night, so we're gonna finish it either way. Worst case, we're stuck with the banana pudding and I will gladly eat it. So this is our first time making it ever, but also from scratch. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us. Um, this is <laughs> the bowl is so big. <laughs> we uh, we had our pudding chilling last night. It looks icky, so I'm not gonna show you. <gasps> Look at this whipped cream. Very nice. This pudding looks so fluffy and delicious. Here is our banana pudding. It's not very aesthetic as I had hoped, but I'm sure it is delicious. Okay, I saved a little bit in the bowl and I just put a little bit of the crushed vanilla wafer and then a banana slice so that we can try it, get the full effect, make sure it doesn't taste like crap. It's really good. Okay, it's so good. I love banana pudding and this is like unreal. Wow, I'm impressed. Like we killed that. Oh, we can make this again later today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it was really easy. It takes a long time to like cool. Three hours. Yeah. So if you have like four hours of your time, pretty easy. Um, and it tastes delicious. So much better than like store bought, obviously. It's very creamy. Oh yeah, extra creamy. Extra creamy. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I changed into this big puffer. Um, and we're literally in the Sonic drive-thru right now, having a grand old time. We decided to get crazy, like content creators for some reason, and go out and take Instagram photos today. I don't even remember the last time we tried to take photos. I'm, I'm sure we could check. Probably. It's like on Instagram. It's been like two months. I feel like it's been a while. We don't really do this as often anymore just because, um, well, we don't leave the house as often anymore. And don't really feel like doing it all the time. So today we got wild and I finally wore this little Storette's puffer jacket. I really like it, it's really good quality, it's huge. It's not quite cold enough to be wearing it here. You wore the dunks too. Yeah, I finally wore the aluminums and I brought out my new Aloe Yoga Sherpa toe. It's so cute, it's massive. It's like the biggest tote bag ever. So, we're very, we're decked out today, you know? We're flexing for the gram, as we should. Anyways, we ended up at Sonic, of course, an after shoot snack. Anyways, good news on Hugo's Friendsgiving. They got the text. It's good to go. The banana pudding still gets its day in the limelight. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm very excited. You'll have to tell me if me they too. like it or not. I'm sure they're gonna like um, it. So we're gonna Maybe get some snacks. What's up? I said hopefully they hate it, so then we have to... <laughs> yeah, I hope they hate it so you can bring it home and I can eat it. But yeah, we're gonna go home and make some cornbread as well after this, so. Big, exciting times over here. <laughs> Look, it says Hero's name. <laughs> We've acquired the goods, the Diet Coke, and mozzarella sticks, obviously, for health. Ooh. Health and wellness. Ooh, health and wellness. <laughs> All right, back in the kitchen. What do you got, Ranch? Yeah. We got some sticks. Um, and then this is the cornbread that we are going to be making. I won't be able to try it, so you'll have to tell me how it is. I'm sure um, it's We've fine. never tried this before. Is 
done. The house smells delicious. Hugo's ready. He's out with the goodies. I'm out. Let us know how it goes. This should be delicious. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. Morning, you guys. I feel like 90% of my life is just cleaning this room and like organizing my vanity. I don't know why. It is so messy all the time, but that is what I am doing today. Um, I feel like with the holidays, a lot of my chores kind of just didn't do them. So I have piles of laundry that I'm finishing up. I'm gonna clean off my desk and there's like clothes in here. There's crap everywhere. This is like not unusual though. It kind of always is like this. I do have an update though. Last night, Hugo said the banana pudding was a hit. He did bring a little bit of it home. So I got to have some and it was so freaking good. I definitely want to make it again, maybe for Christmas or something where like I have a lot of people. Cause realistically, how long does banana pudding stay good? Like doesn't the crackers or whatever get soggy and like the bananas get weird? I don't know. So I feel like you'd have to eat it all in like one day. He said the cornbread was very delicious too, but I did not get to try any of that. So. I'll have to buy that box again. Whenever you guys ask me what eyelashes I'm wearing, I just want you to know that I just pick them up from a pile on my vanity and put them on my face. So I never know what they are called. This is your reminder to go wash your makeup brushes. I use this Sigmagic scrub thing. It has like the soap already in it and then it has kind of like these little ridges to deeply clean your brushes. It works best with smaller brushes like eyeshadow brushes. Um, and then with the bigger ones, I just use this soap. It's the Cinema Secrets All Natural Brush Soap uh, because this one kind of runs out fast. So you don't want to use it up with the big brushes. <laughs> okay, remember when I bought this little bed at Target and I was not sure if the dogs liked it yet? This little man loves it. He's oozing out a little, he's a big boy, but it's so soft and cozy. He's very cute. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Just, you know, what I deal with every day. For 20 minutes. <laughs> with your giant jug. <laughs> He means business. <laughs> I think this is everybody's favorite part of the vlogs. You and your headband. Oh, my headband? Yeah. They like it? Yeah, something like that. At least somebody does. <laughs> okay, much, much better, except that pile. I have to do some exchanges for stuff that I bought, so that's gonna have to be there for a hot minute, but looks a lot better, especially the vanity it was so disgusting. <laughs> Okay, um, I just got this in <laughs> from UPS, so I'm gonna open it, see what we got. I don't know if at this point I would have already uploaded my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul or if it's coming after this video. So I won't show you everything. Okay, this is really weird. I ordered some stuff for Hugo for Christmas. And it came yesterday, like everything that I ordered. I only ordered a few things. And I just got a package right now with the exact same stuff. So they sent it to me twice. Um, okay, <laughs> that's so weird. What do I do? Um, I'm ignoring that for now. It's from Urban Outfitters. So excited about all this stuff. You'll have to wait for the haul. And then I think this big one is from Skims, which is so exciting. I ordered a lot from Skims for the little biannual sale. Ah! We're both very excited. So much underwear. 
in these pants. I don't know if these pants are gonna fit. Everybody says they're really long. So I might have to return them. Oh, they're also like not the material that I was expecting. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Might have to make a return. But this, <gasps> it's so soft. I'm so excited. And I have no idea what this is. Yes, I do. <laughs> Kardashian products. Oh my god. Look at this puffer. It's so fluffy. It is so warm. Oh my god. I can't believe this. So, cozy stuff from the Kardashian. Okay, I feel like this is crazy, but I have not made my own mac and cheese. Like, I've made, like, box mac and cheese, like Annie's or Kraft, but, like, I've never, like, made my own cheese sauce or, like, you know, stuff like that. Um, and so Hugo and I were so jealous of everybody that has mac and cheese as a side dish on Thanksgiving because neither of our families do that. Like, we have very basic traditional sides for thanksgiving normally i don't know so we are making mac and cheese tonight baked mac and cheese and i hope that it turns out okay <laughs> okay boiling the water but this is the ingredients we got mozzarella cheese sharp cheddar and then like a colby jack some seasonings i need to get salt and pepper and then butter the macaroni and evaporated milk so like this is looking really good for my lactose intolerance <laughs> We have a gorgeous girl joining us in the kitchen today. A freaking bowl of cheese. This little man made an appearance. We're simmering this milk situation. And Hugo is portioning out all of our seasonings. Ooh, she's looking thick. Okay, we put our mac and cheese into this little dish. We don't have like a real casserole dish. We need to get one. But it says to top with more cheese. Hugo sprinkling on the cheese. Hugo sprinkling on the cheese. Come on, girl. And this recipe didn't say anything about breadcrumbs, but we know it's good. So we're adding it anyways. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want like a long? I mean, you know, follow your heart. Do what's best. Oh yes, tasty, tasty. And then we just pop it in the oven. See you soon, Angel. We love you. <laughs> All right, here is our baked mac and cheese. It looks so freaking delicious. I'm so excited. Taste test. I'm so excited. It looks amazing. Are you dying? No, this is so good. It has like a little bit of a kick to it because we put in like cayenne pepper and the Creole seasoning. It's really good. Very so well good. seasoned. It's like toasty and nice. It's amazing. We have to make this again. Yes, I know. It's really, really good. I'll, I'm gonna link the uh, the recipe that we used down below. But it's amazing. I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. You guys, it is finally December and I can open my little advent calendar. I'm so excited. Okay, so day one of our advent calendar. We got a cute little bear. How cute. I love advent calendars and I haven't had one in years. So I'm very excited. And this is the best chocolate ever. So I'm going to celebrate with our little bear today. He's so cute. <gasps> a surprise. Ooh. It's delicious. Okay, so completely unrelated, possibly TMI. Actually not TMI, it's just periods. Like I'm sure like 95% of you guys watching this have a period. Anyways, I just got these in the mail. These are Thinks period briefs. And I've heard about like period underwear for a really long time, but I guess I didn't 
understand what it was like I could not wrap my head around the concept for some reason I don't know but they're supposed to be just like really absorbent underwear it says that these are super absorbent and holds up to five regular tampons very interesting to me and I don't feel like personally like my personal preference I would feel comfortable just like wearing them out wearing them willy-nilly and just free bleeding it I, I don't know I just feel like I wouldn't do that but um oh my god this, <laughs> this is how they look they feel very thick i don't know i got them to try out especially like for nighttime like overnight i feel like this would be helpful so interesting thought that i would share they feel very like thick and industrial <laughs> i don't know obviously it's a more sustainable alternative um like i said i don't think i'm going to be like swapping out my tampons and just like wearing these but i do want to try it out for like nighttime and see how it goes so you guys want an update on that let me know by the way this pile is getting absolutely absurd okay so i have a call today with um a client and my project manager which sounds way fancier than it is but anytime somebody's like okay can you hop on a quick call i immediately panic um i hate doing it i get so nervous and sweaty and like this call is probably going to be very quick but i don't know what it is i hate doing them they are so stressful like i'm shaky i am ready i have my sweet friend with me and my water welcome to google meet enter the meeting pin followed by the pound key hi hi how are you good how are you Okay, just wrapped up that call. Um, I always feel like they're so much easier to deal with once you're like actually on it, it's like preparing for it that is so stressful. But my stomach was so loud the whole time. Like I know they could hear it. It was like screaming. It was like demonic. So I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you hear it? I feel like it's going crazy. Okay, so glad that is over with. I'm gonna have some soup for lunch. Um, I didn't actually buy real groceries this week because Hugo's going out of town this weekend. So I have like just easy little like one person meals. Um, and we're probably gonna get food tonight before he heads out of town tomorrow morning. So, soup it is. You guys already know about that gnocchi. And then these are the best little rolls for the soup i love to have like bread and soup together to dip it in and this is an unmatched combo i am the serious creature of habit oh my god my bread is sinking hi it smells good my hands smell like the rolls you gotta wait this is this is their roll that it has to cool off Okay, so today we've had like some serious issues with our Wi-Fi and honestly like since living at this house We've had a lot of Wi-Fi issues um, Today like the Wi-Fi in the entire neighborhood is out We're assuming because like our neighbor it's Hugo's best friend. He lives behind us. His Wi-Fi is out So it's not just us today, but we when we first moved in here it took us a while to get our Wi-Fi installed but we were kind of like the first neighbors on like this side of the block to have our house finished and then our next door neighbors moved in and when they were moving in, the AT&T guy was setting up their Wi-Fi and broke our line. Anyways, so anytime like one of us has to get our Wi-Fi fixed, it damages the other person's Wi-Fi and it's like this whole fiasco that we've been dealing with. So that happens all the time and I think it's just because we're a new neighborhood. Maybe there was just like sloppy work being done when our lines were installed, I don't know. But we had a whole slew of neighbors move in like the past few weeks and I think that it's due to them because <laughs> there's like a lot of people getting their internet installed and I think it's messing up our lines. It's so bizarre, but we're at a Wi-Fi. So I'm really happy that my call was like an actual call and not a Zoom because I would not have been able to join. <laughs> for the babies one for you one for you oh my god you guys are so cute okay so excited right now because one of my Ari and beauty orders just arrived the shipping 
was so long you guys so i actually made two separate orders so i think my other one is supposed to get here like next week or something and then i'll do an update video but <laughs> i'm so excited so i don't even remember what this one even is oh my god oh my goodness okay just unboxed everything here is what it looks like so i got this palette um if you guys missed my video like first impressions go check that out because i tried a handful of things in that video um and then i will definitely do an updated one for you guys but i love this palette it looks so fun the highlighter is insane um these are the only two products that i've tried out of these handful um and i really love the plump and gloss and the eyeliner a lot but how cute, first of all, these are magnetic. They're like sticking to each other. How cute is the packaging on these lipsticks? So fun and unique. I'm gonna turn on the flash on my phone so you guys can get a better look at everything. Look at how freaking beautiful. I hope it's doing this justice. So pretty. Let's do a close up of the palette. And then I can't wait to put this on my freaking eyes. How amazing! So yes, I'm gonna wait for my other package to get here and then we'll do another video. Okay, side note, this smells so good, like a vanilla cupcake. It smells amazing. And the plumping lip gloss kind of has like that same sweet smell. So freaking delicious! Okay, so I got this cute little pastel crate from Urban Outfitters. It was like $6, you guys. Um, and then I got it just so I can put my Ari and Beauty stuff in here. Like, all cute and on display. Like, all adorable on my vanity. And, like, look how aesthetic. I cannot wait to put, like, the rest of my products in here. So adorable. The dogs are breathing so loudly right now because we just played with them outside. But we're going... I was gonna say we're going to dinner. We are not. We're going to pick up dinner. But we are going to dinner. Hugo has work to do tonight and then he has to pack and then he leaves tomorrow for his little mini trip. You wanna tell him what you're doing? I'm going to Houston to watch Orlando Magic and the Rockets play. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna watch the Texans versus the Colts. Yeah, it's an extravagant weekend. So a sports-filled weekend for me. Yes, and then his birthday is next week, so it's kind of like a birthday vibe, kind of. a little. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we're just getting something quick tonight, and then heading home. He's got lots to do. He's a busy man. Okay, the sky is stunning right now. Just beautiful. Hi, could I get the number one, please? Yeah, what was your drink? Coke Zero? Coke Zero. Anything else? And then, could I get the number two, please? Uh, Five Fingers? Number two, Five Fingers. What was your drink with that? Uh, no coleslaw on it, I'm sorry. What did you want to substitute the coleslaw with? Uh, could I get extra fries? Extra fries, okay. Anything? And then, what was your drink? Uh, Sprite? And then could I get two of the spicy Zack sauces, please? Two spicy Zack sauces. Can I get you anything else? Nope, that'll be all. Okay, total of 19. Thank you. <laughs> we got the goods, and suddenly it's nighttime. Okay, so. They said the lid would be fucked up, dude. You're cleaning it. It's all over me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. You deserve this. <laughs> they literally warned you. <laughs> they were like, hey, be careful with the lids because they're like not staying on. And I was like, okay. Did you smell a lot? No, oh. but it's literally all in my lap. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Better than the car. Oh she, my god. You can't put the car in the washing machine. I literally just took these pants out of a, the washing machine and now they're covered in Coke. Coke Zero. Coke, uh, Coke Zero, that's Coke all. Zero, not Coke. <laughs> not, Coke Zero. not Coke. Coke, Coke Zero. Zero. 